Welcome back to another video. Today we are in the Halloween Cup and we're going to be featuring the Guzzlor paired with the Quillfish in the Shadow Golurk. So we are trying to um, have the core of Quillfish and Guzzlor as Guzzlor is double wheat fairies. So we have the Quillfish for that situation. All right, here we go. We got the Guzzlor versus the Moltres. Is a favorable matchup. They switch out into their clocks here. We're going to have the goaler for this situation. We're going to fire off a shadow punch here. Immediately, it does go off. And now it comes down to what do we think this move is. It's only going to be the sludge bomb. And that's going to be really good for us because um, now we have an opportunity to win this switch. We are going to be able to show that earthquake correctly. The Moltres decides to come back in. We're going to fire off the dynamic punch. They decide to shield. We're going to go into our Guzzlord here. This Guzzlord is going to have to think about shielding, but we're going to let this go. Ends up only being the ancient power. They go into their Eridos, and we're going to match them with our Quillfish. Trailblaze does get used. Good neutral damage for them. And then we're going to fire off this Aquatil. Aquatil here doesn't quite um, get him in range of half health, but it's going to apply a lot of pressure. Second Aquatil goes through, gets it into the low red, and now we can safely come back in here with the Guzzlord. They're going to switch back out immediately into their Moltres. We're going to fire off the Bulldog Swing. They have to shield. Here, we're going to have to make a call. Do we think this is the big move, or it's going to be the Ancient Power? Ends up only being the Ancient Power, but we are going to apply the pressure again, going for this Bulldog Swing, trying to get the farm down. And we do get the farm down, so that's going to allow us to get to this blue swing here and take out the air dose. So GG's to our opponent, able to win that game. It was a pretty close game considering they um, ran into our goaler versus their Clogstar. Okay, here we go. We got the Guzzlord versus Guzzlord. This is going to be pretty much who is going to decide to shield, who is going to decide to um, let it go. We're going to continue farming. We're going to go for the one show farm down. They're going to decide to go for the crunch. But we are going to be able to sneak that move in. So that means that we are going to be able to fire out this move here. Oh, they were not falling for our sludge bomb. We're going to be able to get to another move here. Sludge bomb goes through anyways. But we're going to see the Dragalgy in the back. So Dragalgy here is going to be able to get to an Aqua Tail. We're going to have to shield here. And at this point, we're looking for a farm down. So we do get the farm down with the goaler. Now the question is, can we get the Azumarill low enough so that our Quillfish can take it out? But in honestly, it doesn't really matter because we are going to be able to match this Quillfish onto the Azumarill. Azumarill doesn't have any moves that can take out this Quillfish, so we're, we're going to be big chilling here. We're going to be able to fire off this Sludge Wave immediately, and boom, down goes the Azumarill. So GG's to our opponent able to win that game with the quillfish at the end but more importantly the shadow golurk was able to put in a lot of work um, especially against the azumaro okay next we've got the guzzlor versus the wiggly tub horrible matchup we're going to go into our quillfish they switch into their clocks are that is not necessarily the best counter so we do have some play here we are going to fire off the aqua till and we're going to fire off another Aqua Toad just like that because it's very, very spammy. Getting him into the low red. We have to shield here. Ends up being the Earthquake, so we do shield the correct move. And now we're going to try to CAP tie. Okay, no CAP tie. We're going to be able to get to this air, um, Aqua Toad. It does get the shield. We're going to catch a move. Let's see what we catch. Earthquake is caught. Only does 50%. So we bait out the Wigglytuck to come back in. Now we can use this um, Quillfish to farm extra energy. Uh, Swift does get used, unfortunately, taking us really, really low into the red. We're going to fire off this Aquatil here because we can get to two. And honestly, we want to uh, keep this Wiggly alive so we can get an extra Mud Slap. And now we see the Frostless in the back. And this is going to be... Oh, they give us a win condition. They let us farm it down, and now we have two Shadow Punches, and this is GG's because, as you can see, first one's going to get shielded, and then we're going to be able to get to another one. So GG's to our opponent, able to wiggle out of that terrible lead um, 
versus that wiggly top and honestly the switching gave us the opportunity to win but i think we were still going to be able to get to two shadow punches okay guzzlord versus guzzlord here this is going to be a similar situation we're going to stay in for now we are going to keep on over farming they're going to throw a move we're going to have to shield here Ooh, it ends up being the crunch oh wow they get the debuff and it allows them to farm us down so that is unfortunate right here here's a 50 50 call okay we go for the goler versus the Drukauji. we know that we can get to the shadow punch this is going to get the shield and we can survive aquatel but also our quillfish doesn't really want to see this so we're going to decide to shield it up they switch out into their zumuro we are going to be able to tank these moves so now the question is can we exit this matchup with some energy we're going to fire off this sludge wave it doesn't ko Ooh, a little bit too much damage we needed to undercharge that actually Okay, we're going to be able to fire off one move here. This is probably going to be a shield even though it's resistant. And now it's a race. Can we get to um, this Aquatol in additional damage? Oh, nice catch. They were anticipating the switch and they were able to take us out right here. So GG's to our planet. Unfortunate that the Guzzler lead ended up debuffing us. Otherwise, um, we would have been able to farm it down and potentially get a sludge bomb off against their azumarill or some neutral damage against their jagauji all right guzzler here versus the Mungus. they're going to switch on to the carbon and we have the goal alert for this situation this is a fantastic spot for us because we're doing a ton of fast move pressure they are going to throw a move here and we're going to have to respect it there's the moon blast probably wouldn't have survived but i'm not exactly sure now we're going to have to deal with this Amoongus. We do have a lot of energy on the Golurk. We fire off the Shadow Punch. They are able to tank it quite well. We're going to fire off another one. We finally get a shield. Um, we're going to come back in here with the Guzzler and just tank all this. And it comes out to the, their last Pokemon. Ends up being the Greninja and we have a decent answer for it. We are going to be able to tank the first move easily. They are going to be able to get to another move here. Um, because we are only throwing resistant moves. Aquatel does get shielded. And that is a good situation for us. Because now we can go for another Aquatel. Get this chip damage. Force them to use some energy. They're going to go for the Night Slash. We see the Amoongus here. And the Amoongus is going to try to um, get to another move. But we already built up the two Brutal Swings. Take out the Amoongus. We see the Greninja come back in, that's fine. We do have a move ready, and we all we have to do is just fire off this Brutal Swing. Should deal enough chip damage for the KO, and there it is. So GG Star Planet, able to win that game. Check out this team if you haven't ready, and let us know if you enjoyed the video.